Professor Luga was queried for controversial media comments he made on insecurity and had not been heard or seen in any public since then. The Professor of Management and Conflict Resolution is blaming leadership at all levels for the socio-economic drift, abject poverty, insecurity, and educational decay among numerous problems plaguing the country. By this, I sympathize with Mr. President, who will have to answer how 200 million people lived during his tenure. I sympathize with my governor, who has to answer how 10 or more million people survived in eight years of his tenure. Luga is also accusing religious and traditional leaders for their rigid approach to addressing issues related to incessant killings, rape, wrestling of animals, and all forms of injustice. Their inability to employ other strategies, he believes, has allowed the issues to fester and degenerate into the current calamities threatening the existence of the Nigerian people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, sent prophets to show people the importance of leaders. They were his representatives on earth. The fifth wazir in Katsina is claiming that the social order has been so distorted to the extent that ethnicity, language and culture are no longer symbols of cohesion and understanding but have become war arsenals. This, Professor says, is demonstrated by those agitating for ethnic enclaves like the Biafra or Odudua republics rather than national identity. Where are the religious leaders, both the Muslims and the Christians, who unfortunately many of them misuse religion? While preferring solution to the challenges facing the country, Professor Luga predicts that Nigeria will remain far from prosperity if the current tradition of choosing political leaders is not changed. The Nigerian constitution clearly states that the purpose of government is to secure lives and for the welfare of the people. He therefore charged Nigerians not to submit themselves to bad leaders who are not concerned with protecting their lives and property. Abdullahi Ismail Amadi, Crossed Television News, Kazana.